happy, Sean. Uh, got to be happy with that eventually. Yeah, it was a relief in the end. It was uh, it was a tough game, a tough game, but uh, we never really took control of it. First half, both teams, to be honest, um, it was very much a, a game of the ball just playing one side to the other, and it was a little bit scrappy. But second half, I thought we had more control, um, and you know we took the chance in the end. Obviously pleased with a clean sheet, but obviously very pleased to get three. So what did you say at half time? Because it was a marked difference in the, in the way the intensity in the second half. Exactly that. Tempo and intensity. We were we were too slow first half. We were getting the ball and we weren't moving it at the intensity that we expect. Um, and it, when we were doing it first half, we were opening up areas uh, in their in their back line and we were getting ourselves in good opportunities and we were playing some good football. But we needed to do it more. And the moment we started doing it more, we had more control and we had some good opportunities to score. Were you possibly a little bit complacent at the start? I'd I'd say after after 20 minutes. Um, I think we were. I think we started okay. Um, once the game settled down, well, to an extent it settled down, but we, we yeah, we we did get complacent. We were giving the ball away silly. We were playing the ball in silly areas. We weren't really playing at high tempo and intensity, and, and you know trying to trying to create opportunities. And that, and that showed. It could have been we could have scored ourselves four or five first half, but so could have they. We gave them opportunities, which was silly, really, but it's something that we need to need to learn. They're still a young group, so no. Uh, another big positive is it's got to be that very very strong bench. Yeah, having seven subs today. Yeah, very tough because we had some really good lads on there. You know, obviously there's some lads that are disappointed in play today, and as you know, as 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 a as a coach, uh, you know, it's really difficult to to leave people out um, and and not give them the minutes. But you know, opportunities will always come for players. You know, we've got we, we, me and me and the manager are very strong in our beliefs of. Uh, Squad rotation. Everybody will get the opportunity, um, and those players that were didn't get the opportunity today have had will have even more opportunities as the weeks come on. And have you bought your suit ready for me? <laughs> no, we do. We have. Look, look it's, an, it's a dream, isn't it? Why not? You know, I don't see why we can't believe in believe in. A lot of people say the impossible dream, um, but you know that's the carrot at the end of this competition to go and represent the club at Wembley. You know, you can imagine it. The, the, the village will be empty. If anybody wanted to go loot and they can do it that weekend, <laughs> but uh, no, look, it's a nice little thing to incentive to go for. But you know, the, the pleasing thing is we're into the next round. It's a nice little learner for the football club as well financially. Um, but it's 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 nice for the boys as well to get another victory, especially after <coughs> excuse me on the back of last weekend when we you know we were very unlucky to lose. Um, you know they responded with a with a victory and and more importantly a clean sheet as well. Absolutely, thank you, Sean. Well, thank you. Cheers.